Playing the pedal steel guitar takes quite a lot of skill. You slide a steel bar up and down the strings as you pluck them, all the while operating a system of pedals and knee levers below. This means using both hands, both feet, and both knees. But a pedal steel guitar's unique sound and impressive range are worth all the effort. To make one, a guitar maker first carves the neck of the instrument from hardwood. He beads glue around the edges of the neck and applies strips of intricate wooden inlay. Once the fretboard design is silk screened onto the top, the guitar neck is complete. The guitar maker then outlines a design onto aircraft grade aluminum and cuts it out to make an end plate for the guitar frame. He pops the end plate out of the holding device. Then, he welds it to the rest of the framework and polishes everything to a mere finish. Next, the part of the guitar called the steps is machined. The holes in the steps will be used to attach tuning pegs. There's one for every string. The steps are attached to the neck, just above the fretboard. This is the pickup plate. It will hold the device that transfers sound to the amplifier, as well as a series of metal fingers. The fingers are made from several aluminum pieces that are machined and assembled together. The fingers pivot to raise and lower the pitch of the strings. All of the fingers are fitted into the pickup plate and secured with screws. The guitar maker double checks the fingers movement. Then he hooks springs to the end of each one to maintain the proper tension. A little grease ensures that this next step goes smoothly, the production of the guitar's cross shafts. Then, it's onto the guitar's undercarriage and the system of foot pedals and knee levers that will move the fingers. The guitar maker screws several cross shafts, one for each pedal, into the undercarriage. He attaches bell cranks to the cross shafts, then connects thin steel rods from the fingers to the bell cranks. This system will allow the performer to tighten or relax strings while playing, which gives the instrument its characteristic sound. The guitar maker tests the knee lever. Here, he's winding copper-coated wire around a cartridge thousands of times to make the guitar's pickup, which transfers sound from the guitar to the amplifier. He takes two of the wire-bound cartridges and places a magnet between them to complete the pickup. Then, he fits it into the other slot in the pickup plate, just above the fingers. Now, using a gauge and a level, he adjusts the pickup. It has to sit low enough in the slot that it won't interfere with the strings. There's no room for error here. The positioning must be exact, or the guitar won't sound right. Ten to twelve strings are attached to the guitar neck. Some instruments have two necks to add even more dimension to the sound.